Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is me just demonstrating a quick uh, bounty of a problem I've been having in my game. So, so far, let me just show you the action of how the game actually runs. We can start the game immediately up. We end up here. Leave you guys a bit in the dark, literally, as not to spoil too much. And we have a tad bit of a level transition functionality in there. Uh, as you could see, when it loaded over to the other level, uh, the player instantly zooped over to the side. And if I can show off a bit here... That is because we have this thing, which might look a bit familiar. Uh, this is a custom-made info player start. This is basically something that's supposed to tell the player where to spawn by default. I'm trying to include a bit better functionality for this so that the uh, upon the info player start being recognized when it, when the ready function is called, it should uh, add itself by its named string here if we ever called a default to the game master and the game master has a few dictionaries here ones for checkpoints ones for spawn points uh, I've tried included uh, I've tried including singular variables here so that we at least have the list of the things, but we don't have to know precisely which one in the dictionary should be the first one to call, if there's only one. Um, this might be bad form right here, just keeping this. If like the string ends up being empty, then that's going to be called to just the Node 3D class itself. But anyways, so far from the game master code i have been unable to actually get the variables to add the uh i have been unable to get these things to add themselves to the dictionary and i believe that's even what this empty bracket is right here this should be how you add items to a dictionary Unless this is being called earlier than what the load function looks like. So that's unloading the level, and then this is loading the level, unloads the previous level first. Then you get to here where it then calls the ready function after the level has been going through all this instantiated mess. Uh, then, if the level has instantiated, it prints the tree, just so you can see what all is included in the level here. And then, it spawns the player. And I believe this is what the player spawning looks like. Active player. I have been unable to find a way with the, um, even the spawn variables not this one even with the info player start since i've been not having as much luck including those in the dictionary i have not been having as much luck accessing the dictionary either or getting around to that step to be able to say that oh if the player spawns in or if there are spawn points available here by this commented section then the active player's position should then be set to the spawn points available uh, default position. It would probably be better then to instantiate or add the player to the scene at the position instead of immediately teleporting the player over, as you might have seen by the quick little zoop upon uh, level transfer. And even at that, if we pop back into the game here, we spawn here, but 
in terms of the context of the game world, the door that takes us then back to the first level is over here. And then, as you can see, it, sp it just spawns us right back at the origin point of this level, which happens to be where I put the, uh, that little quarry there. And then you hit this again, and then it takes us back to this default spawn point. Uh, my goal is to try to get something similar to, like, New Vegas, where it's like you hit the button on this door and it activates, and then it transfers you through a loading zone, and then it takes you to whatever the name of the level is. This is the level to load, and then this should be the warp target, which I haven't gotten to setting up yet. I feel like I'm mixing in a few features here between the checkpoints, spawning the player, having default spawn points, and then having a transfer system. But generally, this is the area of inquiry that I'm having so far. Is that being able to call these nodes upon the level loading in, and then having those nodes be reference points for the game master to eventually spawn and then instantiate the player at those points. So far, this has been the best accomplishment, is that I could get an, a, a somewhat working info player start that when the game starts and the player spawned in over here, the game then tells them to move them over here, which could be good for the illusion of teleportation, but it's very sloppy if you don't have, uh, this could work if you had, like, an animation over the screen, like, little, like, a little transfer animation with bubbles, but, um, even at that, there is a slight chance that the player will catch a glimpse of themselves, like, spawning inside the earth, or wherever the level decides to add the origin if it's not in the playing field. And then the player will have to see themselves zoop over to the spawn point. And even at that, I've tried coming up with the solution where whenever the teleport function is called, the, um... Whenever the teleport function is called in the Game Master, it should... It should interrupt the camera smoothing so it doesn't get that zoop to it. And that's what this code right here was supposed to be. And then I thought, more inclusive than just that, since uh, this doesn't work, my teleport function needs a parameter to pass here. And even then, it thinks it's calling the function. You can't just say, like, oh, if the function is called at all. As far as I know. So this does not work unless I were to uh, rewire the Game Master to the active player and then through the active player then check for if the function is called. Which I'm not sure how to do. Anyways, more inclusively, I tried setting it up so that if the player uh, moves more than like 10 meters away from where the camera should be hovering by the instantiation, not the instantiate, where the camera should be hovering by the interpolation or the tween, then the uh, camera should just immediately snap back to where the player is at that given moment instead of having to catch up. Oh, hey, little, little spider. Oh, look at you. What are you? You're a little gold. Hold on, let me just take a picture. I'm not sure if this will end up in the video. Usually I just end up uploading the MP4 fire. MP4 file. Let me get a picture of you. What kind are you? Camera. There you go. If that ends up in the video, somebody tell me what kind of spider this is. But yeah, that's my bounty.